ways to improve or change your trading performance. Hi, my name is Audrey Nunez. My mission is to lead, inspire, and educate young professionals to create wealth while finding and pursuing their passion. Today, ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang two quick ways to change your trading performance. So, bakit ba natin kailangan itong two quick tips na to? Una, kapag alam kasi natin itong two, two, two na to, we will know when tayo pwede mag full time. And, we will know also kung kailan natin mahihit yung milestone or your target natin. Okay? So, number one is, first, set a monetary goal para mas madali sa atin ma-check kung nahit na ba natin yung goal. Kasi sometimes, kapag wala tayong goal, ang mangyayari is, kunyari, wala tayong goal. Hindi natin alam kung okay na ba o hindi pa. Pero kapag may goal tayo, like kunyari, for example, to hit a million, ganyan. Kapag ka kumita ka, hindi mo isusulit. Kasi your mind is, I'm almost there. Malapit na ako. Pero pag walang goal, gusto mo lang is, fun. trust the process, trust the process. I'm not mocking the process, okay? Pero, a uh, result-based goal is good. Then, tsaka ka nalang mag-process. At tsaka, tsaka nalang tayo mag-focus sa process. Okay lang ba yun? Kailangan muna natin ng results-based goal. Then, tsaka yung process-based goal. Okay? So, now, mag-usapan lang natin is results-based goal. Pangalawa is know and improve your numbers. So, there are a lot of numbers na pwede natin i-improve. For example, ano ba yung mga numbers na gagamitin natin dito? Gagamit tayo dito ng starting capital. Gagamit tayo ng hit ratio or win ratio. Gagamit natin yung number ng um, ano ba? Risk. Gagamit din natin yung um, monthly deposit. Kung nag-iipon ka pa lang ng capital or monthly withdrawal. Kung kumikita ka na. Ano pa? Meron pa akong nakalimutan na isa. Important siya para makuha yung edge, yung win ratio. At saka yung risk-reward ratio. Iba pa yun sa win ratio, okay? So, ayan. Ito yung mga numbers na kakailanganin natin. So, paano natin siya gagamitin? Meron ako ditong tool. Ayan. Meron akong tool. Tinan natin kung paano natin makukuha yung result na gusto natin. Okay? So, gamitin na natin. Okay. Hi, guys. So, yeah. Paano ba natin gagamitin? I-improve yung ating number. So, una, di ba sabi ko is first, uy, dumami yan. Clear natin yung data. Yes. So, first, kailangan natin ng target monthly income kasi yun yung mag-set na ano, ng direction natin. So, so for example, um, gusto mong kumita ng 50,000 pesos per month sa trading. So, yan, wala pa tayong number. So, at least, pag nahit to, alam mo na na you can do na. Di ba? So, for example, you are earning, and you are starting with 250,000 Okay? Tapos, win ratio mo is um, 65. Yan, medyo makatotohanan, no? So, for example, um, hindi ka perfect, di ba? Kaya ganyan yung win ratio mo, di ba? So, tulad ko. Charot! Anyway, so risk per trade, for example, um, 1, 1% lang per trade by tire. Tapos, risk reward natin is, kanya, um, um, 1.5 lang, mababa lang. Then, average number per trade, once a day lang. So, ayan. What would happen sa atin? Ayan. Ganito lang yung numbers mo. Meron ka ng 13%. So, pero anong sabi dito sa um, sa fit natin? Ayan. Sana mabasa nyo, no? So, yeah. If you can execute this, if you can execute your trading strategy consistently, you will be able to achieve your target monthly income within 5 months. 0 years and 5 months. Okay, so 250, pero kikita ka ng 13% per month. Yan, average. Yung 250 mo, by the end of the year, my God, may 1 million ka na. Oh, diba? Pero, 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 sige. Ibayin natin, ibayin natin. Kunyari, 1 is to 1 lang. Ano mangyayari sa numbers natin? 1 lang. Buhay pa ba tayo? Buhay pa! Buhay pa! Guys, buhay pa tayo doing this. Pero, mas tatagal yung pag-achieve ng ating goal. Pwede na, no? Pwede na. So, ending capital natin within 5 years, magiging 8 million, di ba? So, anong mangyayari? Okay, sige. So, for example, um, bababaan na lang muna natin. Um, 40. 30%. Ito, mas makatatahanan. Tatagin ito lang numbers ko. Pero, yung risk per trade ko, 1. Tapos, yung risk reward ko is 4. Improve natin. Try natin. Yan. 
9% during this 9 months. Ito, meron akong share sa inyo. So, what will happen kapag uh, yung yung target price natin is pinataas natin? Ano mangyayari? Tapos, pina, pinababa natin yung stop loss. Pina, pinatay. Ang mangyayari doon is yung win ratio natin is baba. Bababa yung win ratio natin. Because ang taas nung ang taas kasi nung ating target price. Tapos mas madalas na tayong ma ma what? Makakat loss. Okay? So yeah. So by doing that, papatasin mo yung TP mo, tapos papalitin mo yung SL mo, tataas talaga yung restored ratio mo. But bababa naman yung win win rate. Yan, sana, sana na guys yan. So, for example, um, you are earning mas malaki kasi ngayon. So, kanyari, for 100,000. Tapos, gusto mo mag-full-time. Kailan ka makakapag-full-time? Kanyari, ano lang, normal lang talaga, one. Tapos, okay. Um, maganda yung system mo, 65% ka tama, ganyan. Hmm. Two years and nine months, makakapag-full-time ka na. Pero kung marunong kang mag-ipon, na magdagdagan natin. 10,000 per month, kaya mo, kunyari, 100 kita mo ngayon, di ba? 10% hindi tatabi mo. Kailan, kailan ka mag, ano, kailan ka mag, yan, magiging 2 years, 2 months. Hmm, hmm. Eh, what if, um, gawin natin 300, yung starting capital, kailan ka makakapag, um, full time? Okay, hindi masyado nagbago, naging 2 years and 1 month lang. Okay, so, ano bang gusto natin gawin? So, sige, sige, 250. Ayan, sige, ganyan, kanyari. Ang goal natin is by the end of the year, may 1,000 na, may 1 million na tayo. Okay, ilan yung i-add natin? Titipid tayo ng 20,000. Oo, oh, kaya mo ba yan? Siyempre, kaya mo yun. No? Ay, hindi pa ako makabot, ah. 25. 900. 30. Kaya mo ba magtipid ng ganito? Anyway, if hindi kaya... If hindi kaya, okay lang, di ba? Kunyari, ito itong buhay. Kaya lang kaya mo itipid. <laughs> Yan. At least, on the second year, meron ka ng 1,200. Tapos, it will take only 2 years and 5 months para makapag full-time ka na. So, that's it, no? At least, ay, by the way, magagamit mo din itong um, tool na to to check if the system that you have right now is working. Sure ako hindi gumagana yung, ano, yung system kapag ka, yung risk-reward ratio is baliktad. Kanyari, 4 yung, yung risk, 1 yung reward. Ibig sabihin, um, 0.25 lang yung reward every time na may mananalo ng isa. Boom! Negative, di ba? Never mangyayaring mananalo ka dyan. Kahit 90% natin to. Uy, kumita ka pa yan. Oh, pero, iwan ko lang, di ko sure. Kung 80% kaya, mm, delix na. No? So, you know, kahit gano'n kataas to, pero kapag pangit yung risk reward natin, huwag tayong papayag, no? So, at least one is to one, para mabuhay tayo. Yung makatotohanan na number 65, yan, pwede na yan. Oh, yan muna natin yun. Oh my God. Power! So, that's it guys. Sana nakatulong ako na sa inyo today. Love ya! Okay, so... Kung nagustuhan mo itong video na ito at nakatulong naman ito sa'yo, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell. If you're watching this from Facebook, please like and follow my page. So, kung gusto mo ng tool na ito, just go to www.growaudrey.com slash FFP. See you tomorrow!